What's going on YouTube? Got a really fast video here on how to terminate a shielded CAT6 cable. Here's my conference room and here is my bad cable uh, right here. I've already snipped off the end. A couple tools I'm going to need here. I've got my copper shielding. Uh, I have my shrink wrap. I have my RJ45 connector. I've got my crimper. I've got some snips, some scissors, and a lighter for the uh, shrink wrap. I just slid my shrink wrap on. Now I'm going to use my scissors to strip back this cable. You can see the metal shielding underneath there. Some people keep that and fold it back and use that part of their termination uh, to make the cable completely shielded, uh, but I'm actually not going to do that. I'm going to remove the foil. The foil has now been removed and now there is plastic around all of my cable pairs. I've got the plastic pulled off. Uh, you need to cut that, but you can also see my drain cable. It's important not to cut that drain cable because that drain cable is what will make the termination shielded. You can see I used my copper shielding adhesive and I taped the drain cable down. Now I'm going to cut the excess drain away and separate my pairs. I've got my pairs separated and you can see there is that plastic divider in there. Uh, I'm going to remove that and then set up my pairs. I've got my individual pairs uh, unwrapped uh, and it's important to kind of straighten out the cable some. Uh, you can see that the three of my pairs I have straightened out, but my uh, brown and white brown uh, have not straightened out. When they're untangled, they're going to be kind of wavy like that. Uh, you just want to make sure you straighten them out like I did the other pairs. Uh, we're going to use the uh, B wiring uh, for this, and the B wiring goes uh, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. So let's get these cables in the correct order. And if you can't remember the color combination, uh, most of your RJ45 crimpers uh, will have them written down here. You can see, you can do the uh, pin out A or pin out B. And like I said, we are doing pin out B. You can see here I've got them fanned out and I have them in the correct order, uh, which is white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. Now I've got to cut them to the correct length so I can slide the RJ45 connection onto them. When sliding the RJ45 connection on, uh, this little uh, locking tab here, you want to make sure that is on the bottom. Uh, if, you, if you have that on the bottom and you have the orange-white on the left side, then not only will the cables be in the correct order, uh, but you can actually see them uh, through the top a little bit better. I did forget to mention the sled, uh, so I did slide the sled into place. And if you notice, the solid colors should be on the top and the striped colors uh, should be on the bottom if it will focus up. We got a stripe on the bottom and solid on the top as long as you've got the white orange to the left. You can see I've got that slit in here uh, and it's really important to make sure when you look at the end here that you can see all of the uh, cables all the way at the end. Next thing you need to do is uh, crimp it down uh, and then wrap these little metal wings around and slide the shrink wrap up. Here we have the final terminated uh, RJ45 connector. That was just a really quick tutorial on how to terminate a shielded CAT6 cable. Uh, if you guys got any questions, uh, please leave them in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to my channel, uh, please like the video and subscribe. Have a great day.